For those saying this was just role play, you're out of your mind. If this was consensual, she would not be shaking and crying like that. Sado masochism and role playing can only go so far. She was genuinely fearful. I've indulged in various role playing scenarios, including punishment and the like. And I can say for certain this woman was not play acting. So yeah, no, you can't act terror like that. You just can't act feeling and being traumatized. So Andrew Tate was arrested. That's a comment that I thought was interesting. Because there was a video, which I'm not totally for sure if it was role-playing or if it was him beating a woman. And it looked terrible. It looked awful. But it also looked like it wasn't 100% real. So Andrew Tate was arrested today, tonight. December 29th, 2022. And the reason why this is crazy, because essentially this could go one of two ways. Either he is in some, you know, international cartel, sex trafficking, criminal, criminal syndicate. If he's doing sex trafficking, there's also, it says rape charges and some other things. They've taken, I think it's all speculation. What we've seen is him get arrested. There was two cops that escorted him to a police car, and then that was it. There's, uh, I don't know, four cops that went into his place, I guess his club, and they arrested him and his brother, Tristan Tate, also. Andrew Tate's got influence. He sells these tapes, apparently. He says that he thinks he's going to be killed. He says first they try to silence him, then they try to put him in jail, and then, you know, the third time he thinks, you know, strike three. Probably going to try to kill him. He says he would never try to kill himself. So either one of two things is going on. Either he is doing sex trafficking or, <clears throat> or he's being set up over some haters. I don't give a shit about <clears throat> Andrew Tate. I don't give a shit about Andrew Tate. I do give a shit if haters are going to try to frame people. They're going to go this hard to try to take him down. Because Andrew Tate had said that he had some previous sex trafficking allegations and he said that that was swatting he said that those people who are familiar with the internet there's this thing called swatting so i've read where they said it was a sex trafficking probe a probe that's not a conviction that's not even an accusation really they did a perp walk as well as the entrance and arrest he was arrested in Romania. Apparently, he's been living in Romania since 2017. I'm, he's a kickboxer. He, he got his comeuppance, I guess, kickboxing, and then he started selling these tapes to beta men about how to be an alpha male. If you're a beta man, this is how to be an alpha male. I'm Andrew Tate. Oh. And the role-playing thing or the women beating thing, just saw the one <clears throat> clip. I wonder if that's a part of the thing. I don't know. Because he says a weird ass quote here. He says that the reason he moved to Romania, 40% of the reason, <laughs> listen to this, in a deleted video on his YouTube channel, Andrew Tate claimed 40% of the reason he had moved from the UK to Romania was because Romanian police were less likely to pursue rape charges. And he says he's not a rapist. It's just that he likes the idea of being able to do what he wants. He likes being free. So it's weird how he words this. He's not a rapist, but then he says, but, which is a contradiction. And then he's saying he likes to be free. And so... It sounds like he's like pushing the boundaries, maybe. So the previous incident, he wasn't arrested when they had accused him of sex trafficking before. They went to his house, checked things out, saw that nobody was being held against their will, and then left. They're British citizens. They're questioned by... DICOT, D-I-I-C-O-T, Romania's Police Crime and Investigation Unit. Apparently a terrorism unit is who the DICOT Directorate for Investigating Organized Crime and Terrorism in Bucharest. So that's who arrested him. That's who investigated him from before in April. 
you know, eight months ago. And then authorities said they found that had stemmed from two young women, including an American citizen in a voluntary villa who said that they were held against their will by the Tates. There is a lawsuit. A 13-year-old had accused Donald Trump and Jeffrey Epstein, Epstein of raping her, and that was before the, the, the election. I don't know what happened to that case, but it sounds... About the same amount of, um, sounds the same, sounds very, very similar. Police said the Tates allegedly formed an organized crime group, sexually exploited women, forced them to perform pornographic demonstrations, pornographic for the purpose of producing and disseminating through social media platforms. They were questioned for five hours by the police on April 11th. They were released. Libertatia reported. Questioned for five hours by the police, but they were released. When they see, recovered various weapons, several guns, a knuckle duster, hatchet, and swords of varying links and stacks of money. That's from the recent arrest. So let's just make sure we got everything here. Ethan Klein had said that Andrew Tate was a sex trafficker from before. And then Andrew Tate's lawyer sent him a cease and desist letter. So to me, it seems like the Roosters, A, could fall either one side or the other. Either he's being set up by some fucking haters. And then he had said something about a lot of people think you could just get a lawyer and then he'll argue your innocence. But he says that's not how corrupt systems work. Corrupt systems point at a person and then they try to find a damn reason to convict them. That, he says there's corrupt systems all over the world. And that's interesting, to be honest. So, Dicot Is Dicot in Bucharest? Are they, what's going on here? Is Andrew Tate guilty? Is he not guilty? Video of Tate being escorted into a car and flanked by two officers was shared shortly after the news broke. Yeah, this is big news because it's like, who the fuck was Andrew Tate? He's the biggest fucking, you know, uh, Google at the end of the, you know, who, who is Andrew Tate? That was like a, frankly, I didn't give a shit about any of this, but now it's like, what a weird ass narrative, right? First, he gets kicked off of fucking, you know, his social media and shit. And then he's on all these, you know, a media tour. So he's talking to all these different people. And then he gets into a spat with Greta Thunberg. And apparently people are making it, it seem like they want to be sure that he was in Romania. But he had been in Romania for five years. And then they saw a pizza box that, of a pizzeria in Romania. And they're like, ah, we know he's there. Just five years later, and only because of the back and forth between Greta Thunberg. And that's an interesting conversation there. It almost, I mean, it seems irrelevant and small and minor, but it's a... Uh, <laughs> kind of seems crazy that this follows up right after that. But he was basically rubbing it in Greta Thunberg's face that he's got all these cars and he's a fucking big polluter of the world. <laughs> he pollutes a lot of fucking pollution. And uh, he was rubbing it in Greta's face for some reason. And Greta had responded, well, Why don't you write to me at my email address, smalldickenergy at getalife.com fucking clever and kind of kicks him, I think, right in the fucking dick, kind of goes right to the heart of the thing, doesn't it? So kind of a crazy series of, you know, events, kind of a crazy timeline. If this is the, it's just sex trafficking. Sex trafficking is 
major and very specific and it's so outrageous and ridiculous and bullshit. That being said, him kidnapping or holding women against her will and attacking them and shit. Do they have a safe word? And is he, at, you know, listening to the safe word? Does he adhere to the safe word protocol? Because if I screamed the safe word and he still kept going, could he go too far? And then how much evidence is there? Because I only watched a couple videos and it's like, you know, you don't want to keep watching a bunch of crap. But if you actually want to get, you know, down, if you want to figure it out, you need to watch probably the whole video, the whole tape, and then whatever else is out there. Ethan Klein is on Twitter saying the sex trafficker who who, traffic, who traffics humans and sex and so he's kind of doubling down on him just saying he is you know a sex trafficker when it's a probe for now it's an arrest but I don't know so I just want to fill in some details. They, they they said he was a misogynist. That's what I thought that he got kicked off the social media for. He was a misogynist. So he talked, you know, ill of women, not that he was a woman beater. Because that's crimes, right? If he's assaulting women, that that's a fucking crime and that needs to be handled and taken care of. Is it trafficking? I mean, it's assault, sexual assault, maybe rape. Trafficking? Trafficking would be taking women from one people, humans, from one place to another for the purpose of sex. Trafficking. I would think there had to be three or four or two. It's like... And you just don't want... It's such a, you know, egregious... It seems crazy that there's trafficking still in 2022. You don't want to sully, you know, trafficking on something that's not trafficking. I mean, that's a hell of a... Yeah, so we'll see how this, uh, this all unravels.